This is still the Donecast with Evan Jacobs. You and I wrote a script called. You seriously look a hundred. You look a hundred and forty years old on Instagram, and you look twelve on a Zoom meeting. I have no <laughs> idea what you're doing. What filter? Do you have like a Samsung? Do you do you have a Samsung phone? <laughs> no, I have no. I just got the iPhone 12. Okay, yesterday. just I, you well, what, did you what did you have? I know. What did you have before that? I, I had an iPhone. Okay, 8. just I making did, sure. I, 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 I Wipe the lens. It's smudgy or something, or you have an old man filter. You literally, you look so okay, vibrant wait, right wait. now. Wait. Okay, wait. I need to show you something. So we wrote on Levin. People, by the way, and people remember, have no idea how annoying it was to be in a van with me and you driving this. People. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wrote, we, we wrote on Levin. Yes. And remember the issue that we had with the discs? Yes. The, the floppy. Yes. Dude, Darren, this is Final Draft 1. Oh, my god. The goodness. original discs. And I came up to you. I drove all the way up. And I, I, I all I brought was a disc. And I said, Darren... We're going to, here's our letter. We put it in your computer and it wouldn't turn, it wouldn't open. Wouldn't it open. And you were like, you were like, wait, is it everything talking to each other? This was in 1996. Is right. it everything talking to each other nowadays? <laughs> and then, and then for the longest time, you couldn't get that script open. No, I remember. And you were like, you were like, you had investors that wanted to see the script yes. and you're like, is there any way we can? Do you know who was Do you know who was attached? Do you know who was attached at that point? Was Idris Elba? Idris oh, no, Elba no, no, was Darren, attached, right? This was way before. Was it Idris way before Elba. Idris? Okay. This, this was like like. Oh you were, yeah, like, I, this I was. I hadn't even gotten on the warp tour yet. That's I hadn't right. gotten on the warp tour yet, and you couldn't get it. And we, and we were and we, and we were having a tough time. And and eventually we did it. Eventually, obviously, because because oh you made the uh, because you made the movie. Um, what else did I? What else did I want to tell you? Um, I will look because I think I should have surviving in today's world. I I, I should have that somewhere I, as a as a as a file. That is look. That's 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 Darren Down, Evan Jacobs, and Ken Dario. That script is still one of the funniest things, dude. Like. That script. I mean, I get. I get. It's the only up thing. And the teacher shoots up the class. The teacher shoots up the class. Kills everybody. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, the opening, like the first right. two pages. Or, or does he? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. We don't. But I mean, but like, do. like I still think about that. I don't. I, I still think, man. I still think Michael Madsen as the teacher is still perfectly casted. I still think it, it, it works in there and if you got um oh could could could, could you oh you're gonna pull me back in movie making but could you imagine having michael madsen as the teacher and then getting um what's his name who's who's spider-man now tom holland imagine oh, tom toby. holland yeah, yeah no not toby come on old school but tom holland no 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 no, hey, hey, no, no. <laughs> come on toby Mag- he'll always be toby mcguire to you i know no. i know <laughs> No, dude, come on! I'm an I'm an Andrew Garfield guy. I'm gonna I'm dying oh on that hill. I'm are you are you, are you on the um are you on the Disney Plus app? Are you watching stuff? Are you watch, are you, are you a Marvel guy? I love I love Marvel. I love all that stuff. But 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 I am I am Netflix. Right. I get I get Hulu because I get it through like Sprint. I'm part of the AMC Movie Club, so I get to go to the movies three times. Um, and as soon as the COVID restrictions lifted, I was the first guy at the movies. But Darren, I got to be honest with you. I am very in the antenna TV. Literally just put it on. And I'm talking 99 cent store antenna. Plug it in. You get all of your channels. But here's one thing we need to talk about. Are there any films such as this? Like, are you like, I know that you have distribution through that one company that is doing a lot, like they're doing like a lot of your documentaries yes. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, where does this stand? Can you do anything with this or no? I think I could because the contract was a 15 year contract. So I guess technically, oh, okay. you know, although I may have been upset at some point and written them a letter and said, just keep it. I probably did something dumb like that. I think I wrote that you, to the attorney. You getting upset at an executive and yelling at them and then sort of realizing, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't have done that? I know, right? I mean, 
Which is why I really love that there's no more gatekeepers because I just like, I don't, I'm not a good fit for people, right? So it's like if I just do it myself, right? No, no, you're, you are a great fit if you have someone who appreciates what they have in front of them. But if they have, if you get the wrong person or if you get the person that, that doesn't appreciate the, (laughs) me, me for all that I am, right? (laughs) No, 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 no. But if they don't know, but like, like, like you really do like, like you bring a level of, what did this guy say? This guy said this and he wrote it about you after God when he played that huge screening that um, it was right before the movie almost came out, and this guy said that Darren Doan um, believes he can take over the world. And by the time you're done talking with him, you'll believe you can take over the world too. This was 1997. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, so you think I remember that? No, no, no. And, and only you would. I mean, and I think that's what I've tried to channel now is not the not this vibrato to take over the world. Now, now what I'm doing is I'm saying, well, okay, take over the world with your phone. You know, the, right. in the old days, oh. you had to prove to everyone that, that, that you could hang with everybody, you could network with everybody, you could roll with everybody. Now I just take that energy from a business standpoint and I say, okay, create 10 things today, communicate 10 things today. Bring that to my clients. Bring like, like if I think I'm so big and bad and I can take over the world, we just got handed this device with four billion people, and a hundred different ways to distribute and connect and talk. Okay, I'm gonna go do it that way. the The old way was you had to you had to man up and prove right. you could hang with everybody and kind of be feared. You had to be feared a little bit, you know. And more than that. I love because I don't have any more identity as, as a filmmaker, which is why I'm not doing feature films anymore. I just love creating now, especially in a culture that I think has opened up a whole other lane for experiencing things. Like I can't wait for you to see my film Hard Knocks Life. Hard Knocks Life is kind oh, of like I can't. Your son, yeah. There's like six up like when is that like like that, yeah. dude, I love I, see, that's, stuff like, like, like a lot. I don't think there was a category for it five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Honestly, probably 40 years ago, there was more of a category with like cinema and indie and Italian cinema and French cinema. Like, but now I think there is because we, we as a people now are much more um, open for kind of moment experiential driven art and story. You know, and so for me, it's like, I don't know if if Malik really loved his family and kids, he'd be making Hard Knocks Life. You know what I mean? Like right. if Harmony Corinne really wanted to be normal and actually see the, the psychoticness of normalcy, like that's all I'm doing with Hard Knocks Life. Um, and so I can't I can't wait for you to, to see Hard Knocks Life, man. I just think it's. Again, it's 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 all that stuff I love, but so I'm just now I channel all that energy into and also encouraging other people to be like, you know, I'll never forget. I think we've talked about this, and maybe I'll I'll end with this. You've ended, I'll end with this. I'll never forget the, in the early '90s an interview with Coppola. I want to say Charlie Rose did the interview, but I'm not sure. And you probably couldn't even say this today because it wouldn't be PC. But Charlie Rose asked him about the future of cinema. And Coppola said, with video cameras now showing up, he says, he said, finally, the overweight girl in Kansas is going to be able to tell her story and make the movie she wants to make that would never get funded, would never be greenlit by anyone in Hollywood. And that's still, when I heard him say that, I'm I'm still living off of the fumes of that statement, but because I'm hopeful, because I don't think we saw the revolution that should have come when digital cameras showed up. I don't think. Oh, we, like you mean like the DP, like like those? Yeah, 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 yeah. It 
Well, because Darren, but there was still the gatekeeper thing. Remember all the things you and I were told that we couldn't do? You can't mix video and film. You can't, oh wait, you can't make a documentary and have it be staged. That's all the people watch now. Right, right, right. Well, and that was, and I think Danny Boyle single-handedly checked every box of what people said couldn't be done. <laughs> You know, right, like, right. like, and that's why I love Danny Boy. I mean, he shot 28 Days Later on a video camcorder, you know? Yep. Um, I saw it in the theater. The worst looking thing I've ever seen projected. It was the other, and it looks great on TV, but that thing projected was ugly. Like, oh, you couldn't believe it. And I looked in the theater and no one cared. I was right. like, what? So, but when video cameras showed up and digital showed up, did the next Tarantino show up? No, never happened. Just really strange to me that it didn't happen. 